I sell my house can I still claim universal credit? Universal credit is the money payable to individuals who are over 18 years but don't qualify for state pension age and are either out of work or on low income. It encompasses support for childcare and children, housing, people who are too ill to work, carers and financial support for people living with disabilities. Simply put, it's money that is paid monthly to help ease the cost of living. You can receive universal credit if you can't work, are out of work or have low income. For the avoidance of doubt, you need to know that universal credit covers the following tax credits and benefits. Income support. Child tax benefit. Housing benefit. Working tax credit. Income-related employment and support allowance, ESA. Income-based job seekers allowance, JSA. If you're already receiving any of these tax credits or benefits, then you must understand some of the reasons that could affect your universal credit payment. Will selling your house affect your universal credit claim? Any income you receive from investments and assets is classified as capital. Any capital valued between £6,001 and £16,000 will affect how much you receive in universal credit. Every £250 above £6,000 will lessen your universal credit by £4.35 every month. Where it isn't a complete £250, then the figure is rounded up to the next £250. With a capital of £6,250 or less, you can expect to receive £4.35 less on your universal credit until you have a capital of £6,000 or less. With a capital of £6,000 or less, there will be no more deduction to your universal credit. If your capital stands at £16,000 or more, you're not eligible for universal credit. Capital disregards refers to the amounts of capital that aren't included when determining how much you can get as universal credit. They include The land or premises where you currently live Business assets Personal and occupational pensions you can speak to your coach for further information as this is not a comprehensive list. If you have regular income besides your earnings, it'll be treated income that isn't earned meaning your universal credit lessons. Some of the unearned income include student income, pension payment, training and employment payments that are payable for living expenses or as a substitute for universal credit. Again, that is not all as there are other considerations. You're also likely to get deductions to your universal credit when you have a sanction, have a penalty for fraud, have a hardship payment, have universal credit advance, are a recipient of tax credit overpayments, owe a third party supplier money for electricity or gas. Your allocation for universal credit could be reduced when you don't meet responsibilities spelt out in your commitment and can't offer a good explanation. This is a sanction. In the case of a sanction, you'll be informed about the percentage of your payment that you'll lose. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure to check out the blog post version for a lot more information. If you're trying to sell but it's not going well, if you can't get a sale and the state agent fell, now is the time for you to jump and raise. She's a national cash buyer and she'll pay you much higher today.